All right, KMR, we've got the gearbox out of the Formula Drift RX-8, 1,000 horsepower rotary, 5-speed HDT sequential. This particular box I've had in this car since 2018, so basically four years, four seasons, dyno time, track days, Formula Drift, Long Beach Grand Prix. It's taken quite a bit of usage. I even did a little bit of just road race fun on the car one day. Um, not exactly what this thing's designed for, but we still had fun with it. So I wanted to talk briefly about uh, the gearbox, what it looked like inside, um, why I really like these gearboxes, and then also we've been running only renewable lubricants, uh, gear lube in this particular box. I've got another one of these boxes that I've had longer and uh, we switched from other brands over to Renewable. But I thought this was a really good opportunity to look at the wear, uh, look at the box. Uh, we only replaced a couple parts and talk about our setup. So uh, one of the reasons I really like these boxes, HGT, it's a full billet case. It's exceptionally strong. So when you're running high horsepower, uh, it's, it's, it's design inherently reduces twist, reduces fatigue. And just comparatively speaking to cast, usually billet is a little bit stronger, especially when they're using high grade materials. So for drifting and high horsepower road racing, it's an extremely strong box that has a really nice design shape. So it fits in most tunnels and cars well and has a really compact design. So amazing, fairly lightweight, capable of handling high horsepowers, great shifting, very durable, very reliable. One of the reasons I ended up going with this sequential was after using four speed H pattern boxes for a long time, we had a high maintenance expense every year. We were rebuilding them a couple times a year and they needed to be rebuilt. And as we did our research, we talked to different brands. HDT was one of the brands that said, you know what, our gearboxes are gonna last. And they have, that's why I own two of them now, is it actually reduced my maintenance expense so much that I considered this box in the long run more affordable than the traditional four speed that I used to run. But that's just me. You know, we're running high horsepower, high RPM rotaries, um, and we're also being very ab abusive to our drive chains in what we do. So, uh, you know, everybody's got to pick their own setups, but it's one of the reasons I liked it. Also, very easy mounting. Um, the shift setup and the way the linkage is installed is very simple and uh, very happy with dealing with them as a brand. So as far as maintenance goes, um, we really only took a couple bearings out, uh, replaced a couple gears and dogs, and for four years of wear, I was actually really surprised at the fact that uh, we had really low wear, um, the bearings looked good. Um, the only issue we actually had, and this was maybe a, you know, a driver mistake on my end, is I, I let the clutch out in fifth gear, uh, high RPM back at St. Louis when I really wasn't even moving in the car. It had to happen. It was competition, but uh, I think that was the moment that I put a little twist in that spline. Everything functioned fine, but one of the reasons we decided it was time to maintenance is I wanted to take care of that front input shaft and then just check everything out. And uh, what we found out was it looks beautiful. So this is a bearing that actually had you know, four years of usage on it. Obviously, we change our oil regularly, and we're running the 75 140 biosynthetic gear lube um, you know you can choose to run a little lighter or heavier viscosity and this is not an oil or lube that comes directly recommended with these gearboxes so i'm just letting you know for your own information because i like sharing what i do uh, what it looks like how it's working and, and that i'm very happy with it uh, obviously you know everybody has to make their own choices but check that out absolutely gorgeous bearing wear Dog still looking really good. I consider that really pretty good for how much usage this box has gotten. And that hole is supposed to be there. I mean, look at that. Four years of use, I could use that gear again. We only took it out because we had replacements. And then, you know, through shifting, we got some dog wear. But again, you know, we weren't at a point even after the four years of usage where uh, we were having any issues with shifting. We just wanted to see how we were looking and uh, this particular dog looks better than the dogs I would replace on the four speed boxes with only a half a season. And this has four seasons. So just fantastic. <laughs>
just fantastic. So overall, really happy again, like I keep saying, with the, the way the gearbox is performing, um, the lubrication itself. We're not running a cooler or pump. With Formula Drift, we're only running a couple laps at a time. But uh, with a street performance application, road race application, depending on the time you're running the gearbox, I could see uh, putting a pump and cooler on one of these for sure. And uh, they have the ports and everything to do it. We do run a breather that goes to the back of the car. And uh, we're running a uh, quick time bell housing. Uh, just because of the safety rules within Formula Drift. And then we're using HGT's uh, throwout bearing, which is the only throwout bearing I've never had an issue with on my rotary cars. I had to knock on some wood right now, but basically uh, we always had high RPM issues with other manufacturers. And one of the issues that we just stopped having when we went to the setup um, was it shifts every time, no seal issues, Super reliable HGT throwout bearing. It's not in the picture right now, but uh, you should know what a throwout bearing looks like. It's a hydraulic one. So, hey, gearbox is going back in, and uh, I just wanted to share a little bit of how I feel about it, which is great, wonderful gearbox. I recommend them. And uh, if you follow the channel regularly, then you know I crashed the car recently. And so we basically got the car all back together uh, just doing some final touch up on the back end tail light fitment new trunk alignment it's back on the ground we're getting ready to go to georgia so that's just been a little bit of a kmr uh tech update tech talk gearboxes gear oil thank you renewable lubricants thank you hgt if anybody wants either of those products you know hit me up at kmr mazda tricks or obviously you can go to direct but if uh, you're in the U.S., I'm happy to help you out. There you go. I'm out of here. I got to do work. Wrap.